Hello and welcome back to our channel. We are currently at the Bridgeton, Missouri Goodwill Outlet. It is right outside St. Louis and I broke another fingernail. I think I broke every single fingernail on my hand. Also, my basket is or my cart is so overflowing. I'm having to carry stuff in my hands now. The this is like literally right before closing. They they do announce like I think they started announcing 45 minutes before they closed, like closing in 45 minutes, closing in 30 minutes, closing in 15 minutes. You get out of the store, essentially. I wish they'd auction off a whole one for like right at the end, 10 minutes to go. $5 for the whole bin, $10 for the whole bin. Just get it out of here. We don't want to roll it back. I will say we did see repeats when we came back in the afternoon. So it's not all brand new stuff. They just throw stuff on top of it. The, um, but this is towards the end. Oh, it's a strip club hat I picked up to show my husband. <laughs> because I'm classy. Also, as a reminder, if you haven't seen our previous videos, these bins do not have bags. There's a bag right there. She lied to you. <laughs> but they do not have bags for you to check out with. A lot of people brought their own bags. A lot of people buy bags to haul their stuff out like we did. Yeah. Yeah, my cart's overflowing. Also linens, crimey. Yeah. Like hey, look, shoes. I found you. Funny, haha. -ha. And your cart is way less full than mine. I probably uh, saw it already. Yeah, I'm just going to migrate my crap to your cart. Also, we are not joined by children this time. We are joined by a cat. You've seen him in my previous videos. Now he has decided he needs to sit between us and make biscuits on my husband's Files. shoulder. Nope. USB plugs. Cords. If they would have been USB-C, I would have grabbed them. If it would have been a safe, I would have grabbed it. Bought a safe one time. A vintage shoe polish. I almost grabbed it. You never know. Yeah, it's so dicey to ship stuff like that. Like perfume, hairspray, shoe polish. I don't want it to like explode or light like a plane on fire or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is down there. I think it's a clothes eye. Is that a router? Yeah. Wish I could figure out what to do with old routers. Burn them. Or to see them. Burn them! Don't burn them. That'd be bad. Mm -hmm. Slim jewel cases. For all those DVDs. What was in it? Oh, that's funny. I mean, if you didn't have it on hand and you sold CDs, it'd be handy. We have a lot of loose DVDs still, or CDs. Not that we sell them, we just have them. I almost bought this bag, but it's torn on the side. It's an Athleta bag. Athleta sale sells as clothes, so I'm wondering if like the bags would sell. But it had a big old rip down the side, so. Mm. They got two Athleta clothes to rip and tear. Those are chucks down there. I didn't look at them. I also question the Puma bag. This is a vintage Adidas bag. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think there was something wrong with it. There was a reason why I didn't end up picking it up, but it was a vintage Adidas bag. I see blues, blues. No. Yes? Yes. Yes. Lots of keyboards. Also, for those of you that don't watch Blue's Clues, Blue is a girl. And Magenta is a boy. Again, this is at the end. Like, there's nobody here. They're going to kick us out any minute. I have not gone through my cart. This is how I ended up buying stamps and stuff. Oh, recipe thing. <laughs> that came on. 
It did after you put it back. Mm-hmm. You put it back. I put it in my cart. Recipe box. My my overflowing cart. I wish that wasn't so dirty because it was monstera leaves, and I'm really into monsteras and plants in general, and I would have bought it, but it was bad. I wish my cat purred louder. He doesn't. Otherwise, I'd give you some cat purring ASMR. Because he is purring, but not very loud. I don't know why I'm holding my wrist to my body. I feel like I did something to it. I'm not sure. Because I'm, I'm holding it awkwardly and pushing one-handed. So I feel like I, I hurt my wrist somehow. Maybe you're fending off cart thieves. Maybe. Hey, who's this handsome man with a cart? People don't even put blankets on their carts here. Like, not that competitive. It's really nice. No, and they're not like freaking out over stuff. This is me probably going like, I saw that box. I threw that box away. Um. You're getting some good shots of my phone. Halloween bucket. We have an old Halloween bucket. I haven't sold it yet, but listed it. Did we list the, the skull one, too? No, because you got that one. I, I got the orange old school one, and I listed it already. I have a vintage black and white skull one that I think I got in the afternoon, and I don't know where it is. A couple of watchers, but no one's bought it yet. But I didn't know people bought orange, like, nostalgic pumpkin buckets. Tree baskets, yeah, tree buckets. I didn't think of words there for a second. Side note, we finally sold the Nerf Axe. There was like 17 watches on that stupid thing. I'm like, hey, let's sell this. And you're like, seriously? The recipe thing? Yeah, because I already looked it up. And I would have got it if I had recipes in it, because I think that makes it so much cooler, but it didn't. Sorry, I'm distracted by my cat. Is that tinsel? Yes. Oh, we did list that. I regret getting that. It's cool, though. It's vintage. I'm really worried it has lead in it. Well, I'm not going to eat it. Any more? Any more? We couldn't have tinsel. Our cat would eat it. We had to get a smaller Christmas tree because oh, no. he kept knocking it down. There goes the Safari book, I'm guessing. Yeah, I put it back. You didn't weigh in the joy price. You no. Buy your joy. Honestly, if I would have known it was by inch, I would have got it. But it was a freakishly heavy book. Joy back in the bins. So it was joy in the bins for some Run, else. Cheetah, run. I had to watch it one more time. It was amazing. I think I'm showing you, like, look, look, they a move. Circle of life. We're seriously manhandling the cat, and he's just taking it like a champ. Um, this is the lunchbox. Yes, I did get it. No, I have no idea where it's at. And no, it's not listed. I'm going to guess it's downstairs somewhere. It's in our garage. Like everything void. else. I will say the two oldest, though, have taken a lot more interest into the eBaying. Because we've actually listed some things. We've actually been packing stuff at night, so it's like actual movement. Yeah, our... They're not used to seeing that lately. Our middle child has really liked cutting out labels for us. Which is handy. Because we don't have a fancy dancing thermal printer. Well, we actually do, but it's to sell. Well, it's, it's too little, she yeah. says. Yeah, it's tiny. Found a thermal printer at the thrift shop around here. Yeah, nice. it was a Dymo, but it doesn't print the four by sixes. It prints three, like three by something or two by something. It's the smaller labels. It'd be like a barcode type labels. 
Peace out, Dylan. Bye. Look at that squat form. Um, we're just throwing things on the ground. And you know, people gave us zero looks. This last time, though, when I was throwing stuff back, I did have people going through the stuff I was throwing back. If people throw stuff back, I go through it, because they tend to throw stuff good away. I threw back a really nice thick beach towel this last time, and a lady went straight for it, and I said, there's black paint on it, and she thanked me and went on her way. So that's nice. So the key is, if you want stuff, put black paint on it. No one will touch it. Pretty much. It's like licking it. Right, I was going to say, it's like licking it. Um... And I did not have siblings growing up, so I did not have to lick my food to keep them from eating it. But I, I did. I did have siblings, but I'm normal, so I wouldn't even consider that possibility. Is that recipe thing on the floor? Uh-huh. Don't you get that still? Yep. Okay. Don't judge me, sir. I believe that one. This is where I look up this coat and go, man, it's actually worth something. That was an upside-down Ninja Turtle on my cart. It's not worth Well, I mean, actually, it's like 10 bucks, but I'm just keeping it. It's in my void. Downstairs. Thank you for five bomb. I again, this is the code I'm getting. <laughs> um, you get a lovely view of the coat. I will say the this past trip to the bins that we just did with our fourteen year old. My husband tried out a new thing with the GoPro, and he liked it so much, I ended up buying one so I can use it. Yeah, it's a magnetic necklace, so you can just wear the necklace under your shirt, you slap the thing on like Iron Man, wear it around whenever you want to take it off, or like when I was looking at my phones, or if you need to go to the bathroom or something, you just rip it right off, put the camera in your pocket, good to go. You're just wearing a necklace. It was super nice, and like he could position it higher or lower, too, so I ended up getting one for me, because... The chest strap is really inconvenient for me. You also look like you're going to war. You're all strapped up. Yeah. And it's like, that. it's not comfortable. Anything Iron Man references if you have the magnetic one. Which I have not done, but I will definitely be doing in the future. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it ended up working out quite well. And I think it was only like $11 or something. It wasn't crazy expensive. As I thought it would be. I'm going back and forth on this vintage Tommy purse. And I don't remember if I got it or not. And we really don't know because of the void. Because of the void. That's a no. I'm going to say no. But the <laughs> recipe box is the floor and you got that, so. Yeah, I got that. Who knows? What? <laughs> you got that too, right? Yeah. Why are you throwing stuff? My sort... cart is too full and you told me not to throw stuff in your cart. Because <laughs> you were still sorting it. Throwing stuff on the floor like a crazy person. I'm the bad guy. I probably want you to hurt Leonardo. Yeah. And then, like, we should have more video, but it corrupted, so we don't have, a, like, at the very end where we're going through the checkout and stuff. Um, but they're, like, hustling us out of the store. Uh, I throw most of this back. I think I keep one, because I like the pattern. But I think I throw the rest back. Again, I'm just throwing them on the floor. <laughs> Throw this on the floor. So, ah, I hope it fits our table. <laughs> Throw it on the floor. <laughs> eBay sorting method right there. Yeah, you saw it in the previous video. I just throw stuff on the floor. Hey, I'm going in your cart. Oh, the cards. No boundaries. <laughs> no boundaries at all. Well, this was the end of our morning, and we should have had another video, but it corrupted. Sorry, it's probably on me, because it's just me recording at this point. His camera had died already. So. Under those cards, gold bars. 100%. I just listed the cards. And I have a, I'm going to have a video of me listing these cards. So please stay tuned for that one. I put the gold bars back. They had black paint on them. <laughs> I hope you have a very productive day. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.